Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will see how we can use secondary workers, especially printable ones in Dataproc to speed up the execution of our workloads without proportional increase in the cost. We can use non printable workers as well, but the value proposition with printable VMs is quite awesome as we shall see later in the video. In Dataproc, there is an option of adding secondary workers, which are compute only workers that can be added to increase the compute capabilities of the cluster. They, these are the same machine types as your primary workers. They don't host HDFS data nodes and hence do not participate in data storage. However, if you are using external storage like GCS, you shouldn't be worried about that. One cool thing about secondary workers is that we can also use Google's printable VMs for them. So what are printable VMs? <clears throat> In GCP, printable VMs are similar to regular VMs except they can be printed or taken back anytime Google needs them for other purposes. And they will definitely be printed after 24 hours of using. They come in at a much lower price than normal VM instances. In some cases, they are up to 90% cheaper than regular VMs. So you will ask, why should we be using printable VMs as secondary workers? Well, they are cheap and since storage is offloaded to GCS, we don't mind them getting printed. Also, Spark is resilient to task failures. So when the workers get printed, Spark will schedule those failed tasks to some other primary workers. So. Is it all nice and rosy? I doubt that. Let's discuss some caveats of using printable workers. You might be tempted to use a cluster with high proportion of printable workers, but you should not do that. It would significantly cripple your cluster when all of them are printed at once. A good measure is to have not more than 50% of your workers as printable. Also, your jobs might experience high number of task failures when workers are preempted. So you should increase the tolerance by setting following properties in your cluster. Here is an additional tip. The way I use printable workers is by first setting a baseline for my job using only primary workers. And once I have a baseline within SLA, I add printable workers on top of the already set baseline. This gives you a way to finish your jobs well before your SLA and at a much lower total cost. You can try this as well with your workloads and see if this suits your needs. Now let's quickly see how to configure clusters from for printable secondary workers. Let's go to the data proc cluster page, hit on create cluster and go to the configure nodes tab. Crawl a little down and you'll see the option to configure the secondary workers. Expand the section and configure how many workers you need. By default, the secondary workers are printable and we'll keep it that way. Next, configure the boot disk size and type. And that's it. All the other configurations stays the same as we have discussed in the previous sections. Once the cluster is up and running, you'll have workers ready at your service. So let's round up what we have discussed so far. Use of printable secondary workers to speed up the execution for less, for less money and do not use more than 50% of your cluster workers as printable as that will negatively affect the performance. So try this optimization with your workloads and let me know if that works for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.